Finally, it's here. The official Pixel OS with the latest standard security update of April 2023 is back and we are excited to explore all the new features and changes made in this ROM. Hello and welcome to Cracksoid. Today in this video, we'll be taking a comprehensive look at the latest Pixel OS running on Android version 13. This ROM has Quicksilver kernel used and we'll explore from new features to customizations, benchmark scores and even CPU throttling test. We've got it all covered but that's not all. We'll also be comparing this latest update with other custom room and to its own previous build as well so you can see exactly what's changed and this will help exploring every single change that's been made however while testing this rom we discovered a serious bug that we simply cannot ignore so stay tuned until the end to find out more so without further ado let's start camera Let's start off by talking about the camera. This Pixel OS comes with the MIUI camera just like its previous version and even features a 48 megapixel working camera mode. But during our testing, we came across a serious bug in this camera app. Whenever we switched to ported mode, the camera app would stop working and crash. This is a major issue that the developer should address and fix as soon as possible. However, we are optimistic that they'll release an update soon to fix this problem. Other than that, everything else seems to be working properly in this camera app. Now, if you're someone who just cannot live without portrait mode on your phone, then don't worry, we have got you covered. You can simply use Google Camera 8.8 .8 to take portrait shots and it works flawlessly. User Experience Moving on to the user experience, we have to say that this latest Pixel OS provides a solid and smooth UI that is a pleasure to use. The interface is snappy and responsive and we have noticed that the apps load quickly and multitasking is seamless. While the UI is not the flashiest out there, it gets the job done and we appreciate the minimalist design. One thing that stood out to us is that they have reduced the QS pull-down lag since the Android 13 QPR2 merge, which is a welcome improvement. Overall, I am impressed with the user experience provided by this latest Pixel OS. And as you can see on the screen, the app opening and closing speed of this ROM is worth noting. It's clear that the developers have put effort into optimizing the performance and animation of this Pixel OS. We encourage you to try it out for yourself and let us know in the comments how you feel about the speed and animations. We are always interested to hear your thoughts as well. Antutu Benchmark Score Moving on to the Antutu Benchmark Score, we ran a test on this latest Pixel OS and obtained a score of 208078. This score indicates that the ROM is optimized for performance and is capable of handling intensive tasks with ease. For those who may not be familiar, Antutu is a popular benchmarking tool used to measure the performance of Android devices. The higher the Antutu score, the better the device overall performance, making it an important factor to consider when choosing a ROM for your device. And this score is noteworthy especially when compared to our previous review of the latest Evolution Act 7.8 which had an Antutu score of only 200497 and we look forward to seeing how it stacks up against other rooms in the future. Geekbench 6 score Now let's take a look at the Geekbench 6 scores for the Pixel OS. Basically Geekbench is a performance benchmark tool that measures the processing power of a device CPU. The scores obtained from the test give an idea of how fast and efficiently a device can perform tasks such as running apps or games. The higher the score, the better the performance of the device. And talking about the results, the ROM performed admirably, achieving a single core score of 320 and a multi core score of 1169. And in comparison to the latest Evolution Act 7.8 ROM, the Pixel OS gives a neck to neck competition with slightly higher scores. Evolution Act 7.8 scored 316 in the single core test and 1155 in the multi core test. Both ROMs are performing well, but this time the Pixel OS is doing slightly better. CPU throttling test. Let's move on to the CPU throttling test. I ran the test for a solid 15 minutes to see how well the CPU performs under heavy load. The results were a bit underwhelming as the CPU throttled down to 94% of its maximum performance. The average score of 135992 GIPS is decent but not great. I have seen other custom rooms that have provided better results in the same test. So this may be an area for improvement in future updates. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. 
But it's worth noting that Evolution Act 7.8 had a similar 94% CPU throttle result but with a slightly lower average score of 13398 GIPS. Overall Pixel OS performed better in the test when compared to Evolution Act 7.8 in terms of the numerical scores achieved. Safety Net Compatibility Test Now let's move on to the next test, the Safety Net Compatibility Test. This test checks whether the ROM is able to pass Google's security standards and ensure that sensitive apps like banking and payment apps can run securely on the device. And I'm happy to report that Pixel OS has passed the Safety Net Compatibility Test which means it is safe to use and download apps from the Google Play Store. In addition, on Google Play Store app under Play Protect Certification level, you can see that the device is certified, meaning that it meets Google's security requirements and is eligible to access apps that require a certified device. So you can rest assured that your device is secure and protected with Pixel OS. Google Photos Unlimited Stories Moving on to the next feature, Pixel OS offers Google Photos Unlimited Stories spoofing. This means that you can upload as many photos and videos as you want on Google Photos without worrying about running out of stories. This feature is quite useful for users who frequently capture photos and videos and want to keep a backup on the cloud. With Pixel OS, you can enjoy the peace of mind that your photos and videos are safe and secure on Google Photos. Launcher Moving on to the launcher, this version of Pixel OS comes with Paranoid Launcher instead of the usual Pixel Launcher. It's unclear why this change was made, possibly due to the merge with Android 13 QPR. If you have any insights, feel free to share them in the comments below. While the home setting doesn't offer much customization options, you can access a variety of app settings from the recent app section. This includes options like App Info, Force Close, Split Screen, uninstall and even freeform mode for certain apps. In the recent app sections, you will also find two useful quick action buttons for screenshot and lens. After taking a screenshot, you can easily share, edit or delete it. However, this search lens option is not yet available unlike other custom ROMs that provide this feature. And personally, I prefer having the lens option after taking a screenshot as it makes it easier to search for something using Google Lens directly after taking a screenshot. Wallpaper and Styles Moving on to the wallpapers and style, Pixel OS offers a variety of options such as wallpaper color, basic colors and additional features like dark mode, themed icons and app grid. However, in this latest version of Pixel OS, three new customization options have been added, icons, fonts and shape. With these new options, user can further personalize their device and make it unique to their own preferences. It's always great to have more options for customization and Pixel OS is delivering slowly. Quick settings. Moving on to the quick setting panel, Pixel OS provides a clean and organized layout with easily accessible tiles. Some of the useful tiles include a QR code scanner, compass, auto brightness, calculator, and more. Additionally, you can customize the tiles and add or remove them according to your preferences. Overall, while the quick settings panel does not offer a bunch of tiles, the tiles it does provide are useful. Settings Moving on to the settings section, let's take a look at the various customizations and features available on Pixel OS. Private DNS Under the network and internet settings, you will find the private DNS feature which allows you to specify a DNS server for your device to use. But unfortunately, custom DNS provider names are not yet included. Additionally, in this section, you will find the network traffic indicator option which displays the current network speed in the status bar. You can also choose to hide this indicator when it's inactive, keeping your status bar clean and uncluttered. Battery Moving on to the battery settings, there are 5 different options available. Battery uses, battery saver, battery manager, battery percentage and low battery light. The battery uses option shows the power consumption of each app and feature, allowing you to optimize your battery uses. The battery saver feature helps extend battery life by limiting background activity and reducing performance. The battery manager provides detailed information about battery health and uses over time. The battery percentage option displays the current battery level as a percentage in the status bar. Finally, the low battery light feature flashes the device notification LED when the battery is running low. 
also inside the battery saver option you can also find the extreme battery saver mode which further limits app uses and disables some features to extend battery life display moving towards the display setting it offers a dark theme option which is already a standard feature in most android devices but what i particularly liked about this rom is the custom theme that makes the background even darker giving a pitch black look that is easy on the eyes and gives a premium feel to the overall user experience Moreover at the bottom of the display setting you will find the ignore window secure flags which is a handy feature for those who like to take screenshots or screen record on apps that usually restrict these actions such as banking apps or Netflix these options allow users to bypass the security restrictions and capture the screen without any issue security and app lock Moving on to the security section, this ROM offers the app lock feature which allows you to look specific apps with a password or fingerprint. To use this feature, you'll need to first set a screen lock as the app lock uses the same lock method. It's handy feature for keeping your sensitive apps and data secure. Gestures Moving towards the system setting, you can find the gesture setting where you will discover various gestures related features including the swipe to screenshot which allows you to take a screenshot by simply swiping three fingers across the screen. This is a handy feature for those who frequently take screenshots on their device. Moreover, you can also access the advanced reboot option by navigating to the press and hold power button settings. This feature allows you to perform tasks like rebooting into recovery or bootloader mode, making it convenient for advanced users sami parts moving on to the system setting there is a section called sami parts which offers some additional features like the mi sound enhancer option which can enhance the audio output clear speaker option display color calibration which allows for adjusting the color saturation and temperature of the display and more Conclusion In conclusion, Pixel OS offers a simple and clean Android experience with a limited but highly useful set of customizations. Despite having fewer customization options than other custom rooms, this version has shown excellent results in performance-related tests such as Antutu Benchmark, Geekbench, CPU Throttling, and more. In fact, it even outperformed the latest Evolution Act 7.8 and gave it a neck-to-neck -neck competition. Overall, if you are looking for a stock Android experience with touch of customization, Pixel OS is an excellent choice. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. So what do you think about this ROM? You can share your thoughts and experience related to this ROM on comment section below. And if you like this video, then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksoid. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.